One of the cases that stuck in my memory was the case of an old man who was injured by the police during one of the protests in 2016. He was injured by the weather cannon jets thrown by the police into his head and no one dealt with his case. The poor old man was among the other victims of the excessive use of force by police. It is someone who suffered uh, in the hands of state officials or in the hands of uh, someone uh, who acted uh, with, a si with a silent uh, consent of state officials, with the knowledge of the state. Um, so victims of torture uh, can be uh, quite a broad range of people can become a victim of torture. It can be uh, regular people like you and me. As the world is facing multiple crises and armed conflicts, widespread impunity of torture across all regions and the continuing closing civic space, we are reminded of the importance of working united to protect those most vulnerable to torture, including women, children, migrants, detainees, human rights defenders, and to always keep the victim survivor in the center of its work towards achieving our shared goals. I raised his case in the dialogue with the government as an emblematic case of the abuses committed by the police that have not been investigated. Over a month after the committee adopted concluding observation on this particular state, I was informed that investigations into the case of this old man and other victims had been launched and that media reported that the police chief had publicly apologized to him and his family and said that the victims will receive compensation. After this case, I realized that the impact of the committee's work can be both global but also individual each time our work reaches the grassroots, and that means justice for victims. The Committee Against Torture is really accessible and operates in an efficient manner and really can bring justice uh, and redress uh, also on national level. So when, when they are desperate, uh, when nobody hears them out uh, in their own countries, there is a, still an authority, there is a global authority that can, that can uh, ensure that uh, the justice is done and that their voice is heard. The committee's regular reviews of state parties are an important entry point to mobilize for change and to establish a basis for dialogue between state, civil society organizations and the authorities to impact, for example, legal and policy reforms, investigations into torture cases, punishment of perpetrators or reparation, including rehabilitation for torture survivors and victims. The Convention Against Torture has been supporting states in preventing torture for 40 years. It has also been of immense value for victims everywhere, regardless of their gender, nationality, politics, religion, or sexual orientation. They can count on its provisions to uphold their rights. On the 40th anniversary of the Convention, our message to you is very clear. Join us in the fight against torture. Your support matters. Let's build a future free from torture where human dignity prevails. Thank you for being part of this struggle.